We use zebrafish to better understand the molecular mechanisms regulating intestine development. I have focused on the causative gene for the intestinal polyposis disease, putz jaeger syndrome, LKB1, to understand how it affects intestinal development. Upon knocking down LKB1, we found that the intestine is larger and that the cells are more differentiated. This would suggest that LKB1 is responsible for regulating the timing of intestine development. Interestingly, we found that in its natural form, LKB1 is transiently downregulated during the intermediate phases of intestine development. This corresponds with an upregulation in its downstream target TOR signaling or target of rapamycin. LKB1, when active, is localized in the cytoplasm. And what we found upon making a transgenic fish is that in the earlier phases of intestine development, LKB1 is cytoplasmically localized and active, but then it becomes nuclear localized during the intermediate phases or approximately 72 hours where it is inactive. And then by 96 hours in the late stages, it is active again, whereby it can interact with its downstream targets and establish proper cell polarity and regulate proliferation so that the intestine can develop to its proper size.